Today I'm going to show you how to utilize Mesa Labs DryCal Pro basic software. The first step is to visit Mesa's DryCal website in order to download your free version of the software. Scroll down to the middle of the site and select Get It Now, where you'll be taken to the DryCal Pro software homepage. Scroll down once more and select Get It Now under DryCal Pro Basic, and you'll be taken to a short registration form, which you will need to complete in order to access the download. Once you've completed the registration form and the download of the software, if you have any questions regarding installation, visit the software homepage and scroll down to download and installation instructions. A short PDF tutorial has been provided in order to walk you through the final steps to install DryCal Pro on your computer. Having completed the installation of the software, open the program and you'll be taken to the home screen. As you can see, there are two tabs in the top left, one for data and one for setup. I'm currently on the data tab, which shows the device description, time, pressure, temperature, flow average, the dry cal flow, and then the sample number that will be displayed when you have an instrument connected to the software. By selecting the setup tab, you'll be taken to the communications control screen. Connect your dry cal instrument using a USB or RS-232 cable. Select an active COM port and ensure that the software and the instrument are communicating properly by selecting the test button. With your DryCal instrument now connected, you can change the communications protocol to be done by the DryCal instrument itself or through the DryCal Pro software. By selecting the DryCal software button, you can change the acquisition mode to single, continuous, or burst. Having selected continuous, you can change the data logging interval to any number that you see appear in the dropdown. By selecting burst, you can also change the average burst number of cycles to any desired number or check the box to log only the final measurement. From the Setup tab, you can also select System. On the left-hand side, you'll see a number of different options which appear, which can be checked or unchecked, depending on the type of information that you would like displayed in the data window. On the right-hand side, you can also change the date and time format, depending on your needs. The Calibration Device option at the bottom of the page can only be accessed using DryCal Pro Enhanced. Now I will show you how easy it is to log data using DryCal Pro. I have all of the information that I would like to appear at the top of the data window here, and I have a Defender 530 connected to a sampling pump, which will populate here once I begin taking readings. Press Get Flow, and the software will begin logging the data from the instrument. Once the data begins populating, you'll see a real-time graph appear on the right side of the screen. The data being logged is that of the dry cow instrument and the dry cow reading average. When you've taken the correct number of samples, press stop and the instrument will stop taking readings. You can then save or copy the information to a Microsoft environment. Once you've taken all your measurements and saved the data, locate where the report was saved on your PC and open it. You'll notice that it has been exported to a Microsoft environment and an easy to use report which can be customized depending on your needs. DryCal Pro also has a built-in help file which can assist you with troubleshooting and other setup options. By selecting help at the top of the screen, you'll be taken to the help file where you can select from a number of different options on the left-hand side depending on if you're using the basic or enhanced version of the software.